Hopefully she's your child. All right, bet. You are the father. Hey y'all, what's up? Thank you so much for watching Miss Angelique TV where we talk about everything. And when I mean everything, I mean... If you've been following me, you know my very, very first story time was about the time I got pregnant by a little person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't watched this story time, go ahead and stop this video. Stop what you're doing because you need to catch up real quick. Catch up, catch up, catch up. Because you don't want to miss the back. You don't want to miss the, the back story behind this. Okay. So um, I'll put this the video in the description box below if you haven't seen it already. Fast forward when my daughter was like five. We'll say about five or six around that age. I started getting letters in the mail for child support. Now, um, whenever my daughter was ten months old. I did file for child support, um, and that was because he would not help. And then one time he bought her a pack of diapers, and that was just once. And um, I would always ask him to help, and he just wouldn't wouldn't help. Child support is not for for failed relationships; it's simply for absent fathers, and that he was. Please stand by for further details. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. I don't really agree with child support. I don't like. I don't like it. At the age I was 16, and my daughter was 10 months at the time, and he hadn't been doing anything, and I was only one. Um, I felt that I had no choice. Even though I didn't get any money because he um, went to jail like right after I filed for um, child support. So obviously he can't work. So obviously there's no money to receive. So um, fast forward um, to December of 2017. I received a letter in the mail from child support and it's requesting for a paternity test and I'm like the fuck before that I had already been getting letters from the child support office um, asking to meet up and stuff like that but I will always ignore it because I was grown at that time making money like I was good I didn't need the help once I got that letter requesting for me to do a DNA test for my daughter I'm like okay hold the fuck up he had to have requested this and mind you I hadn't heard from him since my daughter was like 10 months literally um, it had a particular date for me to go up there and um, do this paternity test by or before I had did the paternity test and so I had also found I think I named him Shorty so I had uh, found Shorty's Facebook because I would always see him in my recommendations if he's in my recommendations I'm pretty sure I'm in his recommendations but he just never hit me up or anything like that so after I got the letter, I'm sorry, I'm leg itching. After I got the letter, I ended up messaging him on Facebook, and I'm like, I sent him a picture of the paper, and I'm like, are you requesting this for my child? Like, I mean, she is yours. And he was like, well, I just got out of jail, and this is a part of my probation. I have to um, do what they say, basically. And so I'm like, okay, whatever, don't give a fuck. So he was like, but I don't want to be on child support. Um, can you talk to them or whatever and this and that and i'm like well look i don't i don't really give a fuck about the child support either but this is something that they're requesting like if you didn't request it they did but he more than likely requested it because he can always acknowledge the fact that he's the child's father like anybody can you don't need a dna test to prove that um if you truly believe it but for whatever reason he didn't believe it so i'm like okay bitch i got you let me go ahead i was trying to i was trying to not be in the child support system and stuff like that but I don't believe she's your child all right bet so i take the test or whatever and um get the results back a month later you are the father the you is the pappy or whatever and then i text him the fucking results and he didn't even text me back until a month or so later whenever we get a court paper in the mail saying we got to show up to court march 3rd or something like that of 2018 so I'm like, bitch, okay. Go downtown or whatever. Mind y'all, I have to fucking pay for parking. The fuck? But this is my first time going into any type of court, child support, anything. I don't know how this shit works. So I go and what they had me do, I had to go through a metal detector. And then I have to, you know, sign in. And then I have to, he wasn't there yet. So I was, they were telling me I had to wait in a particular waiting area for the other party, which is him, Shorty, to show up. And if he didn't show up, then, you know, they would dismiss it or whatever. And at this time, it's already like 1030 or something like that. And I still hadn't seen him. And then the way that I was sitting, like you can see the people who was co coming into the, the courtroom. And so I see the shortest person out of the crowd is Shorty. I'm like, fuck, he really fucking showed up. Okay, cool. Bring it. Bet. Once he signed in, they told us we have to go 
upstairs to where the actual court will, um, session will be taking place. At this time, he hadn't seen me. I mean, I've seen him, but um, I had went and sat down in the little court area in the pews or whatever, um, where I guess everybody who was going through the same child support thing or whatever, they were in the same courtroom. All of a sudden, the door opens because people was constantly coming in or whatever. So the door opens and all of a sudden it's fucking short. But at that time I was pregnant as well, like six months, something like that. Not only did he walk in the courtroom, this nigga sat next to me and I don't think he noticed who he was sitting next to actually until they called my name and I had to go in the back. And so now they called my name separate because I had put on, on the form whenever I initially filed for child support that I was like in fear of my life or something like that, I think. Um, so they called my name separate. And so whenever I talked to the lady, she was like, just wanna let you know you filled this out so that's why he's not in the room with us. Or do you still feel like that or whatever? And I'm like, no, I don't feel like that. So cool he could come in so i had to sign a paper to acknowledge the fact that you know i wasn't afraid of him basically so he came in the room and so the lady started talking and mind y'all like i said he had been wanting me to see about getting this case dismissed or whatever but i couldn't do that because the state did that by him going back to jail it reopened the case because they found out where the fuck he was that's what happened i was answering the lady's questions and stuff like that and she was asking if like i wanted him to pay um, she wanted to know if I wanted him to pay, like, back child support. And I'm like, no, mm -mm. And then she had gave me the option to either charge, um, him or either, for him to either, even, uh, either pay. She gave me the option for him to either pay $25 or $50 for Medicaid. And I was like, 25 because then this nigga was broke, he didn't work or whatever. So I'm not trying to, like, I don't really want the child support shit, but... You the one who went to jail, you the one who got the case reopened, and so now you gotta deal with it. He was just like, I thought she wasn't gonna do this, and this and that. I told him, I said, look, this ain't got nothing to do with me. I didn't open this up. Like, yeah, in the beginning, I, I did what I did or whatever, but the case ended up getting closed because he went to jail. So I'm like, look, I ain't got nothing to do with this. It's something that they're demanding you to do, so that's between you and them at this point. It's not even between you and I, you know what I'm saying? Because now you gotta pay them. And of course, whatever you pay is gonna go to me, but... I'm like, look, I, I can't I can't do nothing about that. In the state of Texas, if you don't have a job, they'll automatically place you on child support as for um as if you were receiving minimum wage. So that's about two sixty or something like that a month. Um, worth of child support for one child if you are under like the minimum wage um, income bracket or whatever the lady was just talking and going through the papers and stuff like that and then she was going through the custody agreements i told her i wanted visitation and you know why i said because he hasn't seen her since she was 10 months my daughter don't know who the fuck he is from adam and eve number two and i'd rather him get to know her first and the lady was like okay cool so we could come up with a modified agreement to where he would do six supervised visitations you know about the the park for four hours every Saturday which mind y'all he's only did one of those that court day was in March and so he ended up seeing her the following weekend first and the only meetup we did as far as actually going by what the court is demanding him to do and then it goes from that to having my daughter for four hours on his own on Saturdays then after he do that for like six seven times then he'll get to have her for eight hours by himself on Saturdays um, and then it goes from that to having her spend a night one time one time of the weekend and then spending the whole weekend like it was it's levels to him being able to actually have her for an entire weekend like a regular standard custody would be between the mother and the father and he ain't been doing it he only did once which is his, that's his fault oh well i ain't got nothing to do with that i'm not the force to be a father you keep saying you ain't got a car you ain't got this you ain't got that money good you're 30 over 30 years old you need to get your shit together and if you can't get your shit together then you know cool my daughter was good regardless um but she was happy to see him whenever she did see him i'm kind of going over my ahead of myself um, another thing that happened whenever we were at court is that the lady was asking about the name. Now, my daughter has a hyphenated name. She has my last name, then his last name. His last name was first, so his, I'm just gonna make up a last name. I don't want to say it, the real name. So, his last name was Henry, and my last name was Robinson. The way it was, it was like my daughter's name, Henry Robinson. 
he wanted it to be my daughter's name, Robert and Henry. I'm like, okay, cool, my nigga, we can go ahead and make your last name last. The fuck? Like, I ain't got no problem with that. And so she went ahead and modified, talking about the court lady, she went ahead and modified that in the court order or whatever. And then that was that. And so like I said, that following weekend, he ended up seeing her at the park. And my, my daughter was like so over it. Like she didn't know who the fuck he was. Like I mean, I told her that, yeah, you're about to meet your dad. Because it was the first time that she would have ever seen him as being like an older child. The visitation was really, really awkward, honestly. Like he wasn't really interacting with her. He had bought his son there with him but I guess because he didn't really know her he you know it was his first time seeing her he'd never been around her like he don't even know what her favorite color is or her favorite food which is sad but but ever since then y'all he's only paid child support once I'm not sweating it I'm not about to be on his line asking for no child support why because I work to provide for my kids in my own life. I don't need the child support that's just something that's required by the state just because of him like I mean sorry I can't do nothing about it that check was $49.50 so I'm assuming he sent $75 and so they took the little Medicaid or whatever and sent me the rest. I was really, really surprised because he hadn't paid it. Like, my y'all, he's been on child support since March of last year and he's only paid once. So, um, he'll call and text me every now and then, how my baby girl doing? Like, I'll just be like, oh, she's fine. He'll be like, oh, well, I'll meet y'all. I, I want to see her on this day, but don't never hit me up. And, you know, I'm not the type to, I'm not going to run after him. You say what you said. If you can't keep your word, then cool. That's not for me to paint that picture for her. She's going to see on her own. That's the only update that I have for him. I just wanted to talk about that because I haven't talked about, about him in a minute. Um, so, yeah, y'all, he's still being little. He's still small. He's over 30 years old. He's still got his own shit together. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is with this, this, these. I just don't know. Like, I'm way younger than you. I'm 23 years old. I've been living on my own since I don't know how, how long I got my own vehicle. Like, I'm good. And not to brag or to my own horn, but you're older than me. What are you not doing? Well, I can't even say it's because he has a felon because felons can get jobs. So he's just lazy, I guess. I don't know. Anytime he wants to see her, I don't ever make give him a hard time. Like, I, I, I'm not that type of baby mama. Like, I don't do that. Like, if you want to see your child, cool. I don't care if you haven't seen her in three years. If you say that one day you want to finally see her, I'm going to make sure that happens as long as you keep your word. If you have any questions or if you have any similar stories, if your baby daddy little as fuck, like, let me know. I just want to make sure that I'm not the only one who got a small who got a small baby daddy like i just like, i just want to make sure that i'm not the only one and if i am cool fine whatever it's all good i hope to see y'all in my next video so thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see y'all next time bye <laughs>